Comparative I wouldn't call it lengthy history, but my few other achievements in surfing, this is definitely one of the coolest because I mean it's a different kind of competition, but you could still call it a competition. And Slater and John John were both in that competition. And Matt too. I had to beat him too. So winning something with guys like that in it is pretty big achievement for me and I was really pumped on it. Oh, well, I think I came up with a concept to start trying it from, I just know I've tried all the oops and gone too far and then I'm sure I saw a picture of I think Julian in Bali or something trying it and I was like, you know what, I could do that I think. So from there it just, I had a trip in West Oz where I started getting close and then came back here, the conditions didn't line up forever. And then finally we found a wave that allowed for like a maneuver like that to be tried because you need the wind, you need a powerful wave and all this to line up and we put a lot of time and effort getting to that wave to try it and got skunked a bunch of times. Finally after, oh, it must have been six months since I first thought of trying it, I finally got to stomp it. To be totally honest, I thought John John was going to beat me. Just because everyone loves John John so much. <laughs> I definitely want to put airs in the back seat compared to surfing jaws because I'm just not as passionate about it. But on the other hand, it's not like jaws breaks every day and we have this super good air wind every day. So I don't know, I I'm sure it'll keep a fine balance for years to come. I thought Gabriel Medina's flip that he didn't even make it with was pretty gnarly. And actually all of them were super gnarly, but I thought I definitely had a little edge just cause it was a first, like, I'm sure if like three people did it, it would have been a different story. But since it was the first one of its kind, it helped me stand out, I guess, against those other gnarly entrants. <laughs> Thank you. 